Hiya, hope you're well and safe. Uh, today we've got a VW 2006 Passat with the very common 2 litre PD engine in it. It's got the engine management light on and doing a code read. Uh, the fault codes come back regarding the intake manifold flat motor, open or short circuit, intermittent. Um, first of all, the flat motor is this one here. You've got your EGR valve here. And bolted on just below that is the flat motor. You've got a little four pin connector goes into the bottom of it there. Um, and you've got your turbo hose coming at the bottom. So that's the bit that, uh, that the fault code is suggesting is the problem. But obviously we can't listen to what the machines are telling us because they sometimes fib. So we want to try and prove it. A good way of proving the fault on these cars is to go to your engine bay fuse box, look at fuse number 23 here. Um, they usually blow if there's a fault with the flat motor and this one was the same. Uh, the fuse had blown. Um, we put another one in and it lasted a short while and then it blew again. Uh, so what I did was I put a, a good fuse in. Uh, I disconnected the flat motor. Uh, turned the ignition on. And then I reconnected it. And as soon as I reconnected it, I heard the fuse over here blow. So we know for sure there that our short circuit is inside our intake manifold flat motor. If it doesn't blow, it doesn't mean that the intake manifold flat motor is fault, isn't faulty. Um, it just means that it's uh, intermittent. So then you've got to do some more testing. But a quick way of testing it is if that fuse is blown, is just see if you can get it to blow by reconnecting. Uh, that's a good, quick, easy way of testing it. Uh, the motors, they're about 250 quid. Um, you can get cheaper ones. Wouldn't recommend fitting them, but uh, you can find them at different prices. Have a shop around, see what you can do. They're quite common. Uh, yeah, so that's easy. The, on the same circuit, you've got the AC cooling fan motor, um, which could possibly develop problems and cause that fuse to blow. Could throw you off the scent. Uh, so if you're getting problems like that and you can't prove for sure that the uh, flat motor is faulty, bear in mind that you could have a problem with the wiring or a problem with the AC motor. So there we are, a few tips just to help you, uh, but I've done quite a few of these and it's always been this one here that's caused the short circuit and in this case it is that as well. As soon as I reconnected it, it blew the fuse. Um, usually happens is inside here where we have the mechanical workings of the flat motor, sorry not so inside here, inside here sorry, um, they fill up with oil uh, and they short themselves out. So there we are. Good luck. Hope it helps.